Hi there, my name is Sarah Harrington and today I will be showing you how to use the uh, open source software Composer to create a cascading style sheet for multiple documents. Um, Composer is a free open source HTML editing software created by Mozilla. Uh, it's a complete web authoring system designed to be extremely easy to use, which makes it ideal for inexperienced computer users who want to make an attractive and professional looking website without needing to know a lot about HTML or web coding. So like I said, today I'll be demonstrating how to create and apply a basic cascading style sheet. Using cascading style sheets help to create a consistent appearance across all the pages of your website and when one wants to make a change to the overall appearance of the website, it's easier to make the change simply to the cascading style sheet instead of making such changes to all the pages individually. So overall, it simplifies uh, managing a, a website's appearance. So let's get started. So once you have the Composer program open, we're going to want to click on this uh, CSS development palette here. Um, it asks you for a title, so you can name it anything you want. So for now, we'll just call it Example Cascading Style Sheet and click OK. And then save it within the folder for your web pages. And here I have a Composer folder, so we'll just save it here. Okay, from here you're going to want to click on the palette icon up in the left and choose li Linked Style Sheet. We're going to click on Create Style Sheet and then this internal here. Uh, you're going to want to click Export Style Sheet and we'll give it a name. So we'll call this one Example.CSS for simplification and choose to save that. Okay, so now we're going to click on this palette here, and we're going to want we're going to start creating our style rules. So make sure that you have style applied to all types of elements selected here, and we're going to do heading one, and create a new style rule. So let's go to the text tab. Uh, we'll use a custom font family for this. We will use Bookman Old Style. We will set the font style to normal and. We'll set the font size to 36 point. Um, we'll choose a color here. How about purple? And we'll choose to center align this. And then we'll click OK. Now to set heading 2, we'll go back to the same icon here. Uh, click this palette again. Have the same style applied to all elements selected. And we'll choose heading 2 and create the style rule for that. So once again, we'll go to the text tab. We'll use a custom font family and we'll do the same one, the Bookman Old Style. Uh, we'll set the font size for this one to 28 point. Um, we'll leave it normal and we'll have the alignment to the right this time, or to the left, I mean. And now, let's try putting a border on this one. So for the border, we'll make sure that all four sides use the same and then we're going to choose a solid border. We'll give it a one pixel width. And then we're going to go to the box tab and we'll go down here to the paddings and give it a five pixel padding on each side so that we don't have to worry about anything getting too close to the box. And we'll choose OK for that one. And then one more time, we'll do the same thing here for Heading 3. So back to this new style rule page, and we'll choose Heading 3, create the style rule. And we'll do this one pretty simple. We'll use uh, Custom Font Family again, do the Bookman. We'll give it a smaller font size, so how about 18 points. Align to the left with a normal font style, and choose OK. So now to apply these, this cascading style sheet to a file, we're going to open file and go to the, choose the one you want. Here I just have a simple example for the sake of this project. Uh, from here we're going to go choose this icon once again and we'll choose linked style sheet. Now we're going to choose our file, so we'll find our cascading style sheet file within your folder and choose open. And then we're going to click on create style sheet and this will link the style sheet to your document and then you just simply click OK. Inside Composer here we're going to go to the source view and we're going to have to manually tag each of the headings using HTML 
basic HTML coding here. So there's the heading one. Heading two and the heading three. So now we'll simply save our document. And here we go, we have the headings applied to the heading styles applied to each of the headings. So there you have it. That is a very basic tutorial on how to create and apply. Uh, a cascading style sheet to a document. Of course it can get much more extensive than this, but for the sake of this small tutorial, that's what I've got. So thanks for watching.